California has come a long way in managing the quality of water in its rivers, lakes, and coastal areas. State and federal water quality laws enacted in the 1960s and 1970s led to major improvements here and across the nation. Pollution from factories and wastewater treatment plants was largely cleaned up. But we still face major challenges in managing pollution of a different kind. This pollution lacks a single source that can be easily pinpointed, and that makes cleanup difficult. It comes from storm runoff from cities and irrigation runoff from farms. This runoff often travels great distances, picking up pollutants like trash, fertilizers, pesticides, animal waste, and other contaminants along the way. This type of pollution creates serious harm. It causes beach, river, and lake closures, and hurts fish and wildlife. It can even cause health problems for people. Another serious water quality concern is polluted groundwater. Many Californians lack access to safe drinking water. Most problems occur in small rural water systems that depend on polluted groundwater wells. In some communities, naturally occurring contaminants, such as arsenic, make well water unsafe. In others, fertilizers applied on nearby farms have seeped into groundwater. For many reasons, addressing the drinking water needs of rural communities, particularly in the Salinas and San Joaquin Valleys, has proven to be very difficult. These communities also lack the financial and technical resources to solve these problems on their own. The state is now starting to help by upgrading these systems or connecting these communities to larger, safer water systems in nearby towns. Despite progress on various water quality challenges, more effort is needed to reduce pollution from cities and farms. One approach to improving water quality in urban settings is to develop projects that achieve multiple benefits. This includes capturing stormwater and treating it naturally in wetlands. In addition to improving water quality, such approaches can boost water supplies and improve wildlife habitat. Perhaps the biggest challenge to managing water quality is finding the money for improvements. Californians have adopted laws that require cities and counties to prevent this type of pollution. Yet some laws make it difficult to raise fees to pay for reducing pollution from stormwater and other runoff. California's water quality challenges are likely to grow as the climate warms and our population increases. We need to expand our efforts to find innovative technical solutions to these problems. At the same time, we must reform how we pay for these solutions.